Hi, this is Ariel from Homeschool Together. Welcome back for another Trello tutorial video. So this is step two. In our first video, we went ahead and signed up for our Trello account, made our first team and gave us our first board. So today I wanna to talk all about boards and how we can customize them and give you all of the different options available to boards and show you how to favorite boards and things. So boards are the the planning space that we have. I think of it as a play, a page in your planner. So this is uh, the canvas that we work on. So the first board that we have here, I just titled it reading. So uh, as far as creation of boards, if you haven't watched our previous video, you can go here to create a new board. You can name it whatever you want. This is where you would choose um, the team that you want it to be a part of. Right now I only have one team, so it's a default. I've named this team, quote unquote, kindergarten, because I want all these different boards to be things supporting uh, my daughter's kindergarten year, let's say. So one of the things we can do here, we can make the board title whatever we want. So this one could be uh, geography, whatever we want it to be. Uh, and here is some options for some different backgrounds. You can also go with a plain colored background or you can click here and you could select one of these or um, if you want to see more we could say oh, I want it to be something like this search for whatever term you want that is geography uh, and you can go ahead and use these photos from unsplash and you can create your board this is going to make a brand new board with this background for me there you go so once you have a board, if you want to change the background, like, wow, that looked really good when it was small, but now I can't see anything. This is too complicated. One of the things you can do, if you go all the way over here to the right, there's a show menu button and you click here and you have a couple of options for your board. First, you can go ahead and add a description to your board. You can say, um, this is, this is uh, going to be uh, kindergarten geography with uh, build your library, let's say, I'm making something up uh, because that's what we're using for our, our daughter. So uh, you can talk about what the board is. Um, you can also change the background right here. So, uh, okay. Whew, good. Okay. Change that background to something that's a bit more, uh, a bit more readable. Let's say you can also add your own custom photos here. So if you have a photo on your desktop, this is how you would add it. So, uh, this is the main uh, the main options for a board. The other thing that you can do with a board here is copy it. So let's say you made a board and it was uh, a whole week's worth of work for all your children. And you've got your lists and cards and, and you have everything for what you do every week and you just fill in exactly what English lesson it is or geography lesson or whatever it is. Uh, what you could do is set up a board as a template of all the different types of work you do every week and then you could just hit this copy board button title it something new select which uh, team you want it to be a part of and you can select right here do you want to keep all your cards um, and then this is template cards we'll talk about template cards another time but basically you can set up a whole board with everything just the way you want it and then you can just duplicate it. You could have one board is every week or every month or um, one board is what you're doing for one child and you want to copy it and make some small tweaks for another child. So copy board is a really great feature that you can use. Once you name it, then you just hit the create button and you will have copied your board. So the one other thing I want to talk about with boards right now, you'll notice this up here. This is a whole bunch of different ways to display boards. This is all part of the uh, paid business class version. So just ignore this unless you, you have the paid version. This is just the free version, so we don't need to use that. Uh, this is the title of the board here. Uh, you can see the team. This is all about visibility as far as if you were working with other people. So if you have another homeschool parent that you plan with and you are all you're sharing maybe this Trello board, but you're not sharing other boards, this is how you could make things some things private and, and other things part of a team. I'm working by myself, so this one doesn't matter here. Uh, and this is the way you could invite new people to join your board. And this here, this star is to favorite this board. 
Now, the reason that this is important here, when you click on all your boards, you're going to see everything you have. So the top thing it shows you is your starred boards. So I always star anything that I'm going to use a lot. So whatever board I'm working with mainly each week, that gets a star. Under that, you're going to see your most recent boards you've used. And then by team, and these are collapsible, expandable, you'll see all the boards that you have. So this is the way it's organized. It doesn't look like much now, but once you get 20 or 30 boards, it's nice to have some things that percolate right to the top. So uh, this is one of the things that you can do. The other thing that you can do here, uh, you can decide to close this board. Okay, I'm done with it. I've done all the stuff that I want to do for the week. I'm going to go ahead and close it. So I close it now it's there. Now the board is not deleted. It's just archived. You're not going to see it anymore and you could reopen it if you did this by mistake. But one of the best ways here, so you see geography is no longer visible. Right here at the bottom you can take a look at your closed boards and there it is and you can decide to reopen it. So that's just a nice option that you can use if you accidentally closed it or you want to go back and get some template information. You could say, great, I'm just going to go ahead and reopen this board and there it is. You never lose any data in Trello unless you do the extra action of deciding to, to actually delete, permanently delete the board. But just by closing it, you're just taking it off your radar so you don't have to continue looking at it. So that's the most important things that I wanted to explain to you about boards. And in our future videos, we're going to go into lists and cards and all kinds of advanced fun stuff you can do with Trello. But I wanted to give you this primer on boards so that you understand the landscape that we're working with. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get to those as soon as I can. If you want to know more about how we use Trello to plan for our homeschool, we had a great podcast episode on it and I'll link those down in the comments as well. Thanks again.